born premature, suffered with double pneumonia, scarlet fever and polio, wore a brace to her left leg as a child. But all these disabilities didn't stop her to win three Olympic gold medals. This is story of African-American woman Wilma Rudolph. This is Michael, and you are watching Full Maniac. If you like our content, then subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories. Rudolph was born prematurely on June 23, 1940 in St. Bethlehem, Tennessee. She was 20th of 22 children born to Dad Ed across his two marriages. She went on to become a pioneering African-American track and field champion, but the road to victory was not an easy one for Rudolph. Stricken with double pneumonia scarlet fever and polio as a child, she had problems with her left leg and had to wear a brace. It was with great determination and the help of physical therapy that she was able to overcome its abilities. Growing up in the segregated South, Rudolph attended the all-black Burke High School, where she played on the basketball team. A naturally gifted runner, she was soon recruited to train with Tennessee State University track coach Ed Temple. Nicknamed Skeeter for her famous speed, Rudolph qualified for the 1956 Summer Olympic Games in Melbourne, Australia. The youngest member of the U.S. track and field team at age 16, she won a bronze medal in the 400-meter relay. After finishing high school Rudolph enrolled at Tennessee State University, where she studied education, trained hard for the next Olympics. The 1960 Rome Olympic Games were a golden time for Rudolph. After tying a world record with her time of 11.3 seconds in the 100-meter semifinals, she won the event with her wind-aided mark of 11 seconds in the final. Similarly, Rudolph, Rudolph broke the Olympic record in the 200-meter dash in the heats before claiming another gold medal with her time of 24 seconds. She was also part of the U.S. team that established the world record in the 400-meter relay before going on to win gold with a time of 44.5 seconds. As a result Rudolph became the first American with three gold medals in track and field at a single Olympic Games. The first-class sprinter instantly became one of the most popular athletes of the Rome Games as well as an international superstar, lauded around the world for her groundbreaking achievements. Following the Games, Rudolph made numerous appearances on his on television and received several honors, including the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year Award in both 1960 and 1961. She retired from competition not long after and went on to teach coach and run a community center, among other endeavors, though her accomplishments on the Olympic track remained her best known. Thank you.